Welcome to Out of School Classroom. Today we're gonna go over 2021 National MassCom Target Round number question number eight. Usually, the National MassCom doesn't have any solution anywhere. It's hard to find the solution. That's why I try to help out to give the solution, give the explanation about those uh, hard problems. Then uh, let's look at the question. Judy and Shelly each receive a box of、um, buttons on Saturday and on Sunday. Each button is either red or white, and the number of buttons in each of the four boxes is from one to one hundred, inclusive. On both days, the percentage of red buttons in Judy's box is greater than the percentage of the red buttons in Shelly's box. On both days. If J percent of Judy's total number of buttons are red, and S percent of Shelly's total number of buttons are red, what is the least possible value of J minus S? Okay,、um, the condition is that on both days, the percentage, separate percentage for Judy and for、uh, Shelly, we have the comparison. Judy's percentage always greater than. Shelly's percentage for the red buttons, and eventually we try to make this、uh, difference of the two percentage in general in the two days overall. I want to see the least value of these two percentage. Okay, so certainly some people say I'm going to try some numbers and plug in and try to minimize these values. That's、uh, probably if you are lucky you can get it, but、uh, most of the time you're going to get. Something off. I'm not really precisely get the actual least value. So we're gonna use algebraic method to find out the the best value we can use it to minimize this、uh, difference of the two percentage. So let's just put a table over here.、Uh, first day, second day, the we compare the number of buttons in Judy's box. And a percentage of the red but、uh, of red buttons in Judy's box is J one percent, and in Shelly's、uh, box on the first day will be total number of、um, buttons will be B one, and then the percentage of the red box red buttons in Shelly's box will be S one percent. Same day,、uh, same thing on the second day we're gonna get、uh, A two is the number of buttons in Judy's box. And J two percent will be the number of、uh, the percentage of red buttons in Judy's box. B two is the number of buttons in Shelly's box, and S two percent is the percentage of red buttons in Shelly's box. I just put this table right here, and let's see what would be the best value. Okay, for the two percentage in two days, these are just the individual days for day one, day two. So let's take a look at Judy's percentage, the number of buttons first. For Judy, basically we count the number of red buttons on the total. That should be the red,、uh, the total red、uh, number of buttons, red buttons in two days together. So based on this one, we're gonna set up the equation. So the total number of button on、uh, first day will be red button. A one times J one percent that will be the red button in the first day. A two times J two percent that's the、uh, red button on the second days. On the second day, so together we'll be adding them up. So the percentage among these two days is J percent. That's the one we are interested. A one, A two is the total number of buttons in Judy's boxes in two days. So multiply the percentage, you get the total number of red buttons in two days. So that should be equal. From here, we can easily solve this J because our goal is try to find J percentage for the red button in two days for Judy minus the percentage of red button for Shelly's. So we're gonna get the difference. Let's solve this one easily. You see, 
just basically drop the percentage sign and then divide by A1 plus A2 on both sides. And you get this answer from there, okay? All right. So similarly, we can do the same thing for Shelly. So we put the table, the same table here. For Shelly, you can do the same thing. First day, that will be B1 times S1 percentage. You will get a, the number of red buttons for Shelly's. And then the same day, same thing for the second day, the number of red button will be B2 times S2%. And then you can add up, you get a total number of red buttons in two days. But uh, all together, this number of uh, buttons should be B1 plus uh, B2 times S percent. This should be, this should be B1. This is a B, this is a B, B1 plus B2 times S percent. So in that case, we can solve this uh, percentage of red button in two days for Shelly. So that will be B1 S1 plus B2 S2 over B1 plus B2. Pretty much just to drop the percentage sign. And then you solve for this uh, percentage in two days for Shelly's red button. Okay. Algebraically, we get this one very easily. And then right now we're gonna try to find the difference between them. We want the uh, difference as small as possible for J minus S. So the next one, we're gonna try to find out this difference. So this is the one we just find out for J. This is the one for uh, S. We find the difference. But in both days, the percentage of red button for Jody's always greater than the percentage of red button for Shelly's. So that means the J1 will be greater than S1 in the first day, J2 greater than S2 in the second day. So that's the condition. We're gonna minimize this value. There's a lot of um, unknown values over here, but uh, in a moment we can figure out. So we're gonna do some algebra, just put these two fraction into one. You see, I'm gonna do uh, this multiplied by the other denominator B1 plus B2. This one multiply the other denominator A1 plus A2. We're gonna uh, expand it for you out. And then um, after that, you will find out we can combine, because we try to compare the Jody's and Shelley's, we just put the same uh, item. For example, A1, B1, you have J1 and an S1. We put them together. So A1, B2, you see, that's gonna be J1 minus S2. A2, B1, that'll be J2 minus S1. A2, B2, that'll be J2 minus S2. So we're gonna get this one. So obviously to make this minimize, we just uh, look at the top value because the bottom one you can see the total number of bottoms, uh, total number of buttons. This is the total number of buttons for um, Judy. This is the total number of buttons for um, Shelly. So the main thing we want to focus on the numerator. So by looking at this numerator, you know, the first one, we already know that are gonna be positive. The last term also positive. In order for this one to be as small as possible, the only way we can minimize the value will be make the, the middle two term to be negative so that this one becomes smaller. So you can see the first term, last term are gonna be positive. J because J1 greater than S1, J2 greater than S2. The first day, the percentage of red button for Jody will be larger than Shelley's. Same thing for the second day. So in order to make the J minus S as small as possible, we have to let the J1 minus S2 and J2 minus S1 to be less than zero then, okay? So that being said, our um, uh, goal is just focus on the middle part to make this as small as possible, but to make this as small as possible. 
So the first one, J1, is the percentage of red button for the first day for Judy. And S2 will be the second day for the percentage of red button for Shelly. And then we try to make this J as small as possible. We can certainly, they're not gonna be 0%, the least value we can make that happen will be one. Because S2 is less than J2. So S2 at most will be 99. So we can make the J2, uh, S2 is 99. Okay, so that uh, we can get these, uh, the other part we're gonna do J2 minus S1. So S2 definitely cannot be, as I just said, S2 cannot be 100. Otherwise, J2 will be larger than 100. So in this case, we're gonna get a J2 will be 100 and S1 less than J1. So we can make S1 to be equal to zero then. So that means I can make this as small as possible um, to minimize this uh, numerator. So we also want to maximize uh, A1, B2, because this one, I want to get the S value as big as possible. So this one already small enough, but I wanted this one, the S value will be as large as possible. So that in that case, we're gonna get this uh, second term to be as small as possible as a negative value, okay? So let's see, I'm gonna get A1 equal to 100, B2 equal to 100. So that's gonna be the minimum, uh, maximum value we can make that happen, right? Okay, and that will be good. So we try to focus on one of the items to make that as small as possible. So these are just really reaching to the extreme. So this one, J1 is one. Okay, S2, 99. These two, I'm gonna make these 100 and 100, right? Okay, even though this one I can see reaching 100, but this one will become really small. We can see next. You can see the only one we wanna know B1 and A2. To make A1, B1 and A2, B2 the least. Okay, uh, even though this is a positive, this positive, I want this two positive value as small as possible. So we can do this way. We can let the B1 equal to one, A2 equal to one. So try to minimize this product, okay? So after that, we just find out this table has been completely filled out. So this is J, uh, A1, A2, J1, J2, um, B1, B2, S1, S2. So this S1, you can look at the middle term, S1 equal to zero. So that's, uh, we'll make this really small. So that seems the best value we can find out. So by copying this value, we can see the earlier um, solution for J and S. And then we try to find the difference between them. So you can see J percent in this case, we're gonna get a really small two out of 101, okay? A1, J1, A2, J2. So this one only one, this only one, but A1 got a 100, A2 just one. So two out of 101. S percent would be um, you can see B1, S1 plus B2, S2, this become nothing. This is 99, so you get an S to reach the extreme value, 99 over 101, almost reaching to the 100%, right? So right now we just find out the difference for the two percentage. 
that will be negative 97 over 101. If you do the calculation for J minus S, you multiply 100 on both sides, you got a 9,700 over 101 for negative. So that's value will be around negative 96.04. Okay, and then we just reach our goal to find the minimum value for the two percentage in two days for the Judy's percentage of red and also Shelley's percentage of red. Okay, the nearest the integer value for this one as required to get the integer value would be negative 96. So we find the answer then, we're done.